Christina Sanford. Leading with courage, character, and connection can be very challenging for organizations. I specialize in helping leaders and organizations navigate these challenges. Welcome all my wonderful and phenomenal women in leadership. We're on key number six in the seven keys to cultivating your gift series. We've been through keys one through five, which are plant your gift in good soil, nurture it, use it, perfect it, speak to it, and today we'll be talking about protecting it. How are you protecting your gift? For a seed to grow in the ground, it has to be protected. Otherwise, the elements will sweep it away and not allow it to grow to its full fruition. So if a windstorm comes after you've planted the seed, but you haven't planted it deep enough or protected it enough, that seed is gonna fly away with the wind and then no one will know what happened to it. It will not grow. It will not become what it was designed to be. Today, I'm here to tell you, we have to protect our gifts. One way to protect your gift is don't take your gift to people who don't know how to handle your gift. There are certain times we can share and certain times we can't. I have certain friends in my life who don't know what my ultimate goals in life are. And guess what? They don't need to know right now because I'm protecting my gift. And there are certain people who would not understand where I'm going with my gift. This includes family. Some family members, although they love me and are rooting for me, simply would not understand the road to my destiny. And I completely accept that. Have you accepted that everyone in your life is not going to understand the road to your destiny? In order to get where you're going, your desire for acceptance and approval must die. Your gift is like a baby. It must be protected from harm, from negative influences, from being misused, from being damaged. What are you doing today to protect your gift? Are you ensuring your gift is manifested around those who are of like mind? Are you ensuring that you only give your gift to those who would benefit from it, understand it, and will take it and multiply it? Write that down in your journal and we'll explore this during the next live online learning session. I look forward to hearing your insights and seeing you continue to grow. Remember, feel free to DM me on the Messenger app and thank you for joining me for seven keys to cultivating your gift. Have a purposeful day. Stay inspired.